Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Happy watching. Here in the United States, we have always been denied the BMW 1 Series hatchback, instead getting the coupe and convertible, and now that car's replacements, the 2 Series. The first 1 Series was pretty radical, a compact hatchback using rear-wheel drive when every competitor was front-wheel drive, and the second generation kept the same platform. But now BMW has revealed the third generation 1 Series hatch, and it has received a radical change in the opposite direction, it now rides on the same front-wheel drive platform as other BMW Group products including the X1 and the Mini Countryman. We knew this was coming, as BMW launched a front-wheel drive 1 Series sedan in China a few years ago. The new car's front-drive underpinnings are immediately apparent, there's a small gap between the front door seam and the front-wheel arch and a large amount of front overhang. There's some surfacing on the sides, and yet another variation of the Hofmeister kink, an extremely fussy front end with merged kidney grills, and a fairly sleek rear end, but it basically just looks like a scrunched-down car version of the X2. The interior design has some futuristic elements and an interesting dashboard design, but all of the controls are typical BMW. A lot of color is used throughout, and the dashboard and door trim can be illuminated as an option. There's an 8.8-inch central screen as standard, but BMW's Live Cockpit Professional System is available, which uses a digital gauge cluster and a larger central display, both measuring 10.3 inches. A ton of new features are available for the first time, including a panoramic sunroof, an advanced parking assistant, smartphone as key tech, and BMW's Intelligent Personal Assistant Voice Recognition System. Five engines will be available at first, with the 116 horsepower diesel 116D at the bottom of the heap. All wheel drive is optional, and transmissions include a 6 speed manual, a 7 speed dual clutch automatic, and an 8 speed automatic. The 1 Series is available with adaptive dampers, and all models have a multi link suspension setup in the rear. BMW says that the new 1 Series has a dynamic sharpness unprecedented in front wheel drive cars, adding that the car is the result of five years of front drive platform development. The range topping model is the M135i X Drive, which has the same 302 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4, 8 speed automatic, and all wheel drive system as the X2 M35i. Like the X2, it has a limited slip differential, and bigger brakes and different steering and suspension tunes are part of the package as well. Using launch control, BMW says the M135i X Drive will hit 62 mph in 4.7 seconds when equipped with an M Performance package and go on to a top speed of 155 mph. The M135i gets its own unique styling, too, with much more aggressive bumpers, bigger wheels, dual exhaust, and sportier bucket seats. While the M135i will make for a very hot hatch, we wouldn't be surprised to see an even more powerful version down the line to compete with AMG's upcoming 415 horsepower A45, especially because the outgoing M140i had 335 horsepower. As before, we won't get the 1 Series hatchback in the United States if you want a compact, front-wheel drive-based BMW, you've gotta buy a crossover. But BMW is launching a 2 Series Grand Coupe based on the same platform later this year, which will be a swoopy four-door to go after the Mercedes-Benz CLA. Its powertrain lineup should match that of the 1 Series, so expect a hot M235i model to come down the line. The new M135 gets all-wheel drive and a front mechanical differential lock as standard equipment, along with stiffer anti-roll bars. Those four exhaust tips we mentioned earlier have a 90mm diameter and they're visible only on the M Performance model. The lesser variants have the exhaust tip tucked away underneath the rear apron. BMW will have the M135i available together with the regular one or models from October. In Germany, the 2025 BMW M135 will start at €56,200. As before, it's not coming to America where the next best thing will be the new M235 xDrive Grand Coupe. We should see the performance sedan later this year. Thank you for subscribing and liking, commenting, see you in the next video.